Alright, so hi guys, Mitch here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a pretty short one because I'm going to be showing you how to reset your gearbox or in layman's term, we say your gearbox. But for me, I feel that it's resetting your throttle body as well as the mechatronic of the DQ200. This not only works for the DQ200, it also works for the wet clutch 6-speed DSG gearboxes as well. So I've actually tried it on another friend's Passat as well as asked another friend to also try it on his Jetta Twin Charge which is similar to the Sirocco I have right here. So with this method, you do not have to use any other peripheral like a laptop or VAG.com or even any OBD2 reader. So this can be done with just two steps. I should say two steps. So all you need to do is get your key which I have right here. And then you will want to insert in and turn on ignition. That's like what I'm doing. Once you get out these lights, of course, I have an error because mine has uh, some problem with the wire harness for the traction control. So once you've done that, all you need to do is press on the accelerator all the way until kick down and wait for around 10 to 20 seconds. So. Uh, for me, I would rather wait for around 20 to 25 seconds but uh, I heard some people manage to get it done in 10 seconds. At first, I thought this method will not work um, but in fact, after I tried it, it actually worked and also it worked on a couple of friends' cars as well. So I know this method definitely works for this gearbox as well as for even the Passat, the Passat CC and, and cars like that. So once you've achieved the 20 second mark, you can release your foot from the accelerator pedal and then start your car like you normally would just like this and then from my experience what you will initially notice is that the car is a lot more smoother I feel like the throttle response is much better um, I definitely want you guys to try this on your cars as well and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this and also your, your experience with this method of resetting your DSG gearbox um, another thing is that if you're on an incline, my car used to slide back but now after doing this uh, procedure, I feel that my car stays on the hill much better. It, in fact, it moves forward slightly or holds its place, it doesn't slide back anymore. So I think that's a good thing, it's a, it's a safety precaution as, especially if you are on the hill and you do not want to keep on pressing the accelerator pedal or pressing the brake. The gearbox will actually hold the car for you. So I think that's a pretty good thing. I'm not sure whether it wears the clutch out but after doing this procedure, I feel that works much better as well as the power delivery because I feel like the car is more sensitive. The car accelerator pedal is more sensitive after doing this procedure. And uh, one more thing is the jerking. As you know, this car and many other DSG cars, the older ones, have a bit of jerking issue, especially if you get stuck in traffic jams and stuff like that. When switching from gear 2 to gear 3 or even gear 1 sometimes, you have that jerking feel but after doing this the car is totally smooth so i hope this tutorial actually helps you it's very simple step just remember put the key into ignition and then hold on the accelerator pedal until kick down for approximately 20 seconds and once you're done with that you should hear a clanking noise sometimes it does happen sometimes it doesn't mine did not happen and then when you start the car and just take it for a spin you should feel the difference immediately so this has been a really short video guys. I hope this video actually helps you solve the jerking issue as well as the heel hole assist on the DQ200 as well as the other wet clutch DSG gearboxes. So let me know in the comments what you guys think and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and I will see you guys in the next video.